riddle for you. What is a high person's least favorite question? I'm uh, very high right now. How many varies? One. <laughs> it's like italicized. I like riddles more than monkeys jumping on my head. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You ready for the first riddle? Oh yes. Acting on an anonymous phone call, the police raid a house to arrest a suspected murderer. They don't have any physical description, but they know his name is John and that he is inside the house. The officers bust in on a carpenter, a truck driver, a mechanic, and a fireman all playing poker. Without hesitation or communication of any kind, they immediately arrest the fireman. How do they know they've got their man? Because they have name tags on there. Outfit. Maybe the cops like kicked down the door, busted in, instead of yelling freeze, they yelled, John! How do you know? They're all playing poker that has to have something to do with the answer. Maybe, or maybe it's like a red herring. Riddles are lies mixed with logic. I don't want a hint. Don't I got it. it wrong. You don't ready? pity me, it'll weaken my riddle solving skills. Poker is a red herring. Okay, oh. wow. Am I a cop? Are you ready for yeah. the answer? The fireman is the only man in the room. The rest of the poker players are women. <gasps> How do they know they've got their man? Oh! Is he, a, he's the only man? He's the only man. Oh, nice! <laughs> I want the monkey back. That was so hard. I just feel like this was an education in like my sexism. Do we have more? How could a baby fall out of a 20-story building onto the ground and live? It's a bird. But a tornado came by, swept the baby up, and placed it back down, safely, without a scratch. There's no way that a baby could live. It would just flat. Unless it was a cartoon, and it was just a, like a baby, and then it became a string baby. Boing, boing, boing. Maybe someone caught it like right there. It's a super baby? Yep, got bit. <laughs> Got bit. Got bit. A spider. <laughs> yeah. Like right when like the tush hits the ground, but the head is safe. He cradled the rest of the body, or she. These are all reasonable, but they're not right. I would like to know the answer. If a building is 20 stories, that doesn't mean that the baby has to be on the 20th story. So maybe it just tumbled on out of story number one. That's it. As shown by this diagram. The baby fell out of the ground floor. Oh man. I did it. I think a good story as to like why that baby was left alone yeah. is equally as interesting as why it's alive. All right, here's the next riddle. What belongs to you but is used more by other people? My house. I always have visitors. Rides to the airport. Yeah, your car. This is not a tangible thing. You didn't mean to tell me that. I was going to get there on my own. Let's make eye contact about it. Your soul. My patience. Okay, what if we weren't stoned, what would we think? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. My dad would be good at this. Phone a friend. You wanna call your dad? Yeah. Time doesn't belong to us. No, we, uh, we made it up, but fuck. it's not. What belongs to you? You may hang up or press one for more options. Dad, call me back, God. Things that represent you. Oh, okay. Okay. Your personality, your picture, your image, your name. <laughs> you know this, Emma. No, I don't. Emma, Emma, Emma. Stop. My name. <laughs> you asshole. That was great. I know. What belongs to you? What is used more by other people? Duh, my name. That's so annoying. Do you want to make up a riddle? Yeah! <laughs> you know what? We should have like people guess in comments what the answer to our riddle is. And then after end cards is the answer to our riddle. Okay, you ready? Right. What's curly and dead, but not dead? Mm -hmm. Curly is true. Who are you? <laughs> Up. Yeah, whatever. You ready? Yeah. It's a possum. A possum? Curly and dead, but not dead? 